good, everybody? We here. We back. Broke his podcast, you know. You already know I'm Esteban Ray. One third co-host. Peace to my others. Mr. DCYOP. My man Wax. About to do that Alfredo. Um, Which, yeah. Old boy said it's a uh, mix of their names with a little sauce. So it's Alfredo. You know, and um, yeah, 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 it's stepping right in it, you know, obviously it's fully produced by Al. There is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tracks on this joint. Am I right? I think so, but um, ten tracks on it, and um, yeah. <laughs> this this is something I think we all been waiting for even though you know he has done one with uh him and currency man him and Freddie been long due for you know they own little let's get together and make something you know what I'm saying and make something of it you know what I'm saying and and they and they they made it they, it was it's amazing you know what I mean um Obviously, there's a lot of, you know, um, new references to what's going on as far as, uh, you know, a lot of uh, Last Dance from the Bulls reference, I feel. If you was to ask me, there's, you know, a lot of those references throughout here. There's obviously one of them, the intro track, 1985. Um, I know on another track, could be the same one, I'm not too sure, where he goes... Uh, it was something, something like it was now Scotty Team, you know what I'm saying? And he flips the bar. If I don't know if anybody else notices, where he also, in the same, you know, like a bar or two later, something, something with the wife, she wouldn't ever got a ring. Like that, just, it was hard. I caught that, Freddie. That was tough. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, from from the intro is a Bernie Mac sample. Uh, Bob, whoops. My man DCYLP told you that. And then um I like the like he said it's hard production on that, like some almost like a little 80s rock feel. Then it gets right into God is perfect, which for me is a bananas beat. And the beat reminds me of something my man the H and I C would have hopped all over and murdered it whether that would have been a feature or i might have saved that for him himself you know what i'm saying because i could hear p all over that you know what i'm saying and it's fire <laughs> god is perfect i guess because the, the 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 flow is perfect the production is perfect it's amazing when we go to the third track scotty bean featuring rick ross and I'm going to say I love Ross verse on here. I'm going to say I like Ross as a feature artist. You know what I'm saying? If you really won't hear me bumping an album, like, yeah, and it's nothing against Ross, but, you know what I'm saying, his features just be crazy. You know what I mean? And, and then we go to track four. I love the sample on here. You know, Al, Al knows how to dig in the crates like none other. You know what I mean? And then we go to Frank Lucas featuring Benny the Butcher. Now, if you ask me, shit, this 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 was Benny's track. <laughs> no, nothing against Freddie. Freddie Hub did his thing on it, but Benny just demolished this beat. You know what I mean? Then we go to the next track. I think it's number six, something to rap about, which is an amazing track. Um, and it's featuring Tyler, the creator, in which I'm not going to lie. I thought he might have hopped on that. And I thought he was going to sing, you know, and and I'm glad he didn't, you know. But I fuck with Tyler, though. I fuck with Tyler heavy, whole our future, all them, you know. Before and after. Cats know I'm an Earl fan, so y'all should know how that play. 
And what did I say that was seven? So then baby shit. This track right here is crazy for me. Like the whole album is good. So I don't want to say this is my favorite track, but you know, I put a star next to this one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? From the from the production, the lyrics, and how he goes with the concept. It's amazing. You know? And and he'll throw a little sprinkle of detail of, you know, his life in there too, which uh, you know, just add right to it. And we go to the next track, Babies and Fools, featuring Conway, which I like this because it, it shows the emotional side a bit, you know what I'm saying? Which we don't normally get. Shows the the versatility of Conway too, you know what I'm saying? Which I like. I fuck with this this song too. Like, you know. And then we go to Skinny Shirt. And like like Mr. DCYLP said. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. This is another one. This is like baby shit to me. You know? I put a star next to it. Because the production is crazy. And yeah. He, he has a big presence in this. But he's a skinny nigga. You know? So I feel you on that, Mr. DCYLP. Because I'm the same way, you know? And then we go to, the, which I believe is the last track, All Glass. And I'm not going to say I, I, I dislike this track. I just get a little mad because I know I ain't no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense. Like, you hear this and then, damn, you know the album over. You know what I'm saying? But this track is fire. If anything, shit, I got a star next to it. You know what I'm saying? And and that's that. Like, the only bad thing I would say is there's only 10 tracks. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think, though. You know, like, comment, subscribe. You know, come to MB to the Beehive site. You know what I'm saying? But you already know it's Step On Day. You already know how I play. You know, Born in May, but see you in June.